Traffic in London will increase by 50% in the next 15 years. This prediction means additional pressure on a road network that today is already at its limit. This is not only a problem for England's capital. 62 partners, including top vehicle manufacturers, suppliers, road and telecom operators, universities, researchers and public administrations, came together to find ways to relieve the road networks. The Cooperative Vehicle Infrastructure System, or in short, CVIS, is partially funded by the European Commission. The aim of the CVIS is to revolutionize the way we travel by creating the always connected traveler. In the future, all vehicles and road infrastructure, such as traffic lights, parking spaces or tolling stations, will communicate with each other to create and share a radically new kind of travel and traffic information. Vehicles are always connected through the internet. There is a constant exchange of information over a wide range of carriers including cellular, mobile Wi-Fi, infrared or short-range microwave channels. According to the needs of the driver, different applications can be purchased on a cooperative mobility app store and downloaded to the system just like on a smartphone. Engineers all over Europe are already performing pilot trials for a variety of deployments. Earls Court Road, London. Freight operators often have trouble to find a parking space to deliver their goods. With CVIS, they can pre-book a loading bay and improve their efficiency. The main advantage of the system we've trialled is that the loading bay is empty when we get there. We can deliver to the customer without the fear of blocking the road, parking tickets, things like that. Drivers in Turin, Italy, are receiving a suggested speed to drive so they can get through the next traffic lights on green without stopping. This saves fuel and emissions. In Amsterdam, on the way to Schiphol Airport, road signs are also displayed on the dashboard of a CVIS-equipped car. In the future, road operators can use these vehicles as sensors for traffic management and thus manage and monitor variable message signs more efficiently. Within the next decade, the first on-board units are expected to be integrated into vehicles on a larger scale. This is essential to make this system a standard application for the car of the future. One day soon we hope to see this kind of equipment in every vehicle and also in every uh, important location on the roadside so that the vehicle can communicate and provide information, receive information and all kinds of services that we cannot even imagine uh, can begin to blossom around uh, the roads of Europe.